They can't wipe us out. They can't lick us. We'll go on forever, Pa, because we're the people. This movie was based on the Pulitzer Prize winning novel of the same name by Nobel Peace Prize winner John Steinbeck. Directed by the legendary John Ford. Do you know who John Ford is? He's mostly known for his westerns. Stagecoach, The Searchers, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, How Green Was My Valley, and of course, The Grapes of Wrath released in 1940. So good. John Ford nailed it. Starring Henry Fonda as Tom Joe. Henry Fonda's career spanned over five decades. I like to call him Hank. I'm not quite sure what he's thinking. Is he a bad guy? Is he a good guy? He's just so compelling to watch. Just so you know, father of Jane Fonda and Peter Fonda. And that is a crazy family line of actors. Jane Darwell as Ma Jode. on. Believable. She has unconditional love for her family. She is the rock and the glue that holds this family together. And a fun fact, she plays the role of Bird Woman in Mary Poppins. She's calling to you. That's cool. John Quaylen as Muley Graves. He is scared, he's prideful, he's angry, unwilling to change or give in or forgive. Completely opposite of the Joad family. And John Carradine as Preacher Casey. The moral compass of this film. He's questioning and he's always kind of trying to do the right thing. This is a story of the Joad family. And Tom Joad was just released from the state penitentiary where he was serving a seven year sentence because he basically killed a man and Bar. So he's on his way back to his hometown where he's going to be reunited with his family and along the way he meets preacher Casey. He follows Tom back to Tom's parents house where they find that the place is completely empty. He's like, are my parents dead? Like where are my parents? And they find that Muley Graves is basically hiding in the back of the house. My family's gone and the depression hit and the bank took everybody's house and everybody left but I'm still here because I'm not leaving because this is my land and I was born here and I'm gonna die here. And Tom's like, okay, Okay, yeah, great, but I've been gone for four years. Like, where are my parents? Everybody's been run out by the bank. The big old tractor trailers came and like mowed everybody's house down. So Tom goes to Uncle John's house where he finds his family. They all pile into this jalopy of a truck and they start their way to California down Route 66. Serious drama, people. This is the family that just keeps going like the little engine that could. I think are they gluttons for punishment or are they just never stopping, never giving up dreamers that are going to stick together and succeed no matter what the odds? Which one is it? Will it end happily or is everybody going to drop dead in the dust bowl? This movie sticks with you days, weeks, months after you see it. Not only do you learn something, but you feel so connected to this family. Oh, you have to see it. Have to. This movie was nominated for seven Academy Awards and it won two. The boss wrote a song. What was it called? The Ghost of Tom Joad. Have you heard it? I'd sing it, but I don't know it that well. Lucky for you. <laughs> if you like what you saw today, like, share, comment, and subscribe for everything Movie Geeked. And then check out the links below for the original movie trailer and also for the music video for The Ghost of Tom Joad by The Boss. Check it.